What's going on everybody? It's your man Cleveland Terry and today we are starting up a new series called Just the Tip. Just the Tip is basically some things that I have seen, found, realized over the course of my DJing that I feel that can help you. These are going to be quick tutorials, something that's hopefully under, you know, four to five minutes that we can get through, show you how to do it so you can take it with you and be a more effective DJ. In episode one, we're gonna talk about a way to make sure that your files in Serato or Recordbox or whatever you're using actually remain in the place that you want them to. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna use iTunes to properly ensure that the files that you download and play are in the place that you think they're going to be. Now, this is specific to iTunes. If you were using, say for instance, the Serato Crates and you've built your own database somewhere else, this isn't going to apply to you. This is only for people that use iTunes. So, let's get into it. So if you're like me and you've gone and hit that file that you thought you needed, it gives you that dreaded track could not be found. So there are a couple of things that you can do to avoid the situation. Now, one of the reasons that this file is no longer where Serato thinks it is, is because when I downloaded this file originally, it downloaded to my downloads folder, which is exactly where it should go. When I'm downloading from the internet, that's where it's going. There is a way around this. Now, there are two things that you need to do. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to verify a couple of things. So you need to go into your Safari and you need to go into preferences. Under Safari, you can move over to general and then drop down to this bottom checkbox which says open save files after downloading. Now we're gonna make sure that that's on and there's a reason that we're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. So that's the first thing, that's done. Now we need to go into iTunes. So you need to go into your preferences and then you need to head over to advanced and under here you need to make sure that there's a couple of things checkboxed. Uh, keep iTunes media folder organized. That's important. And then also, this is the most important thing. Copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to the library. Now this is gonna make sure that when that file is playing in iTunes, that it has been moved over to the iTunes database in your music folder. That way all your files stay in the exact same place. Go ahead and hit okay. Now here's where it's gonna come into play. Normally when you download music, you go into your Beat Junkies, or your DJ City, or your BPM Supreme, and you download this file, well, it's gonna pull it down into your downloads. And probably 50% of you people or more are going right to your download file and dragging that song into the player. Now, when you download that song into the player, what happens is Serato takes that file exactly where you pulled it from and that it creates a memory file, a memory location. So in this case, it's going into my location users, T.T. Bowen's downloads. Again, where it should go because that's where I downloaded it from. But the problem is, let's say for instance, I create a playlist with that file and I put it all over here and then I decide to drag and drop those files into iTunes later on. If I delete that file from the playlist that is still pointing to my downloads, it's gonna show up as a missing file in that playlist. Even though I have that song in iTunes and I have that song in my Serato folder, it's not looking at that because it's remembering the location that you first played the file from. So what we are going to do is we are going to skip the playing from the downloads and play directly from within iTunes. Now. I'm gonna download this clean version of this song right here. And as it downloads, it's done, it automatically starts playing in my iTunes. Now, because it's automatically started playing in my iTunes, I know that file is already in iTunes now. So the easiest way to do this is to go to your iTunes folder, take the file, and then just instead of dragging it from your downloads folder, drag it from iTunes right into here. And now this song is now loaded up. And as you can see from the location, it's taking it from my iTunes music database. Now I can go ahead and delete this file because it's not gonna matter because it's already stored in the place that I need it to be. All right guys, so once again, 
I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button. If you found it really useful, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to start creating these small little videos to go along with my larger videos to kind of, for one thing, to make sure I have a consistent amount of content going out, but also because I feel like these things can help people. This may be considered something that a beginner would do, but um, I can tell you this, I know a lot of DJs out there that are seasoned, that I'll show them some things sometimes and they, they had no idea it could be that way. So. I hope this thing helped you guys out. Guys, if you found it really useful, you wanna see more of this in the future, obviously hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification to let you know that I will be posting videos. And uh, guys, as always, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon.